I must congratulate SADM for coming up with this conference on energizing Indian aerospace industry. I think the timing has been very, very appropriate. It couldn't have come at a better time than this. But today, the Indian aerospace industry is witnessing <coughs> a new phase, a very interesting phase, which is promising a lot of opportunities and great growth, growth potential. And Make in India impetus is going to act today the catalyst for accelerating this growth. And these efforts could propel India to be Indian, uh, a, a global manufacturing hub in the aerospace industry. And having said that, I represent the HA, the largest DGS in the country. What I am going to speak would be slightly different from the my predecessors. As long as it's within time. Within time, sir. I would uh, briefly touch upon what HL has been doing for energizing the industry and what HL has got to offer for further growth of the industry. HL has been in existence for the last 78 years. In the 1940s, it started as a repair and the overall unit in Bangalore. Today, over a period of time, it has expanded its skill sets. The technology levels have gone up, it has expanded its product portfolio, the, the operations have been taken to a new level. And today, HL has got 20 production centers and 11 R&D centers. And to its credit, HL produced more than 4,100 helicopters and 5,000 engines, and that's been part and parcel of repair overall of many aircraft, engines, and systems, and subsystems. And over the years, HL has been front runner in energizing the industry and in the process of getting to this position, HL has developed multiple Indian vendors. The energizing has started long back, that's what I want to emphasize. What initially what started as the outsourcing of the manufacture of non-critical components, HAL has seen the potential that is existing in the market, in the private players, a lot of people started coming forward. And they have been nurtured, guided, and today, more than in the helicopter manufacturing alone, we have more than 3,000 suppliers out of which 50% of them are MSMEs. And they have graduated to a level where they supply very, very critical items that are required to build the aircraft and helicopters. So they have become partners in the success story of India. And it doesn't stop here. This is what HL has been doing so far. And for this growing industry, for this encouraging phase, what HL has got to offer? The, in the, the market, global market forecast indicates that in the helicopters alone, there is an addressable market for about 1,000 helicopters in the military land and more than 500 in the civil operations. And you are all aware the success story of the advanced light helicopter, the Blue, which is a flagship product of HL, which was designed and developed by HL and more than 300 helicopters are flying and the capabilities of machine have been amply proved and today it has clocked more than 200,000 flying hours and the demand and the crave for this machine, beautiful machine is only increasing and with this multi-role, multi-mission capabilities it, ALH is poised to address the growing market demand Next comes the next helicopter in the portfolio, helicopter portfolio, the <coughs> combat helicopter. It's a world beater. It is the only attack helicopter in the world of its class which can land at Siachen Glacier at the highest impact and 
take off with four fifty kg per hour. I think nothing else is required to prove its credentials and prove its capabilities. And the productionization has already commenced, limited to the electricity series production, and the numbers are expected to be large.